Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night to you all, my friends. Doom here, and I have a box. And this box is coming to us from the one, the only, Love Them Knives. Yes, Love Them Knives has graciously allowed me to borrow one of his personal collection to show you. Uh, I reached out to him actually asking if he had this and if it was something that he would be willing to sell. And I had completely forgotten that he had this knife fully customized by Blades We Love. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to get another box here to dump out these packing peanuts to save them. Because this knife is going to turn and burn. Oh, look at that. He even sent me a couple of stickers. What an awesome dude. Awesome, awesome dude. I greatly, greatly appreciate him giving me this opportunity to look at this. Now, what are we looking at, my friends? This is the Knock Knives S07. Now, the Knock Knives S series, as far as I know, are very limited run special editions. And this one, not only being an S series, has also been fully, fully sticker anode. <laughs> ah, look at this thing! Oh my goodness, that is fantastic. Uh, we got we got like a, a aquatic camo all through these bits here. We've got a deep blue anno. I don't even know if this is all going to show up. We've got a deep blue anno that is also sticker anode. And the gold bits are sticker anode. And oh my goodness, they're all sticker anode. We got a blurple up here on the Emerson Wave. I am not going to do it. On mine that have this, I keep them a bit tighter so I can keep it down so they don't flip up too easily. But I am not going to make any modifications to his knife. Look at that. We got gold. And wow, yeah. And then we up here we got a almost pinkish purple with the blue sticker anno camo on there. Well, let's just get into this thing. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, holy crap! He's got that thing dialed, dangerously dialed. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's scary to get into that lock bar there. Whew. Yeah, absolutely. This is nuts. Absolutely. Okay, what is this here? I did not know that the S had that. Is that an, an additional... Is that, what do we got there? I'm guessing... This is like a, a lock bar lock. Yes, that is exactly what that is. So this here is very similar. It's like a, a one-sided um, locking system. Like the, uh, the MTSS that I just recently did that has the locks up here that will move that block into the stop area on the blade. This does the same thing, but it moves a lock downwards to keep the lock bar from closing. Yeah, that's cool. So we, we've got, in classic knock fashion, well, not really classic knock fashion. God, I really like this. Really like this. Wow. Wow. 
All right, let's do the let's do the knifey 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 things. So we've got a total length of 10.1 inches. We have a blade length of 3.85 inches. We've got a blade width of 1.49 inches. Blade thickness is four millimeters. So that's like, uh, what, 1.5 inches, maybe 1.6 inches, roughly. Uh, the new one that I did, the MTSS, has nearly a quarter inch. So it's like a massively thicker blade. So this is going to be a much, much slicier knife. Got this Anno job. I need to get in touch with blades we love and get them to do a Doom ish style, uh, style Anno job because this thing, uh, though my days with the military are done and I am completely done with camo, I, I got to admit this is freaking cool with this combo of colors, the pinks and the purples and the blues and the, the blue grays and then this gold. It's like a, it's like a battle-worn stonewash gold down the spine, but then you get off to the sides there and it's just shiny. God, that's so good. That is so good. <laughs> so we got an M390 blade. The website that I looked at states that knock heat treated this to 60 to 61. We've got a satin brush finish and a five. 0.75 inch handle. Uh, I, I'm not going to talk about blade to handle ratios because I don't give a shit. Don't care. Don't care. This knife is awesome. Let's see. What can we do here? We can choke up right up to there. Get that thumb right into there. Oh, yes. This is so good. So good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so good. I think if this were my knife, I would definitely be um, adjusting these and making the blade actually a little bit tighter because this, <clears throat> excuse me, I, uh, I think I might be, yeah, I, I think my, my throat is uh, catching a little bit of a frog. A little bit of a frog. Yeah, look at this thing. What do you say? to something like this other than wow you can't you just can't How's that? yeah i'm a i'm i gotta admit you know i i like knives that have holes but i'm a i'm really a stud person <laughs> no i i meant thumb studs I'll flick off of these. Yeah. Yeah, that's scary. Scary drop shut. Scary, scary, scary drop shut. Uh, so I, I digress. This thing is estimated to be around seven ounces i don't have a scale i'm not gonna go inside to my mailing scale and put it on a scale because i don't care i really like heavy knives i like knives that weigh a pound i like weigh knives that weigh over a pound heck i've i put beads on my knives that weigh more than some knives out there so <laughs> i mean it is what it is uh this knife, uh, according to the spec sheet, is running on ceramic bearings that are caged in nylon. Uh, I cannot confirm nor deny that because I don't know if Love Them Knives has modified the bearing system. I know he has adjusted this pivot system, which is, as knocks are, 
completely thumb screwed. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty loose there. I don't know if if he has it set there or if it's just come loose a bit. But again, I'm not really going to touch it. I can tell that this side is fairly loose. But I, again, don't want to adjust that because I don't know if that is his preference or if they've just come loose and he hasn't played with this recently to readjust it. Ah, this Anno job. Again, blades we love. I'm going to have to link them down below in the description so y'all can go and check them out i know i will be going to check them out wow that front flip is really good what i found on a lot of knock knives is there is absolutely a form over function setup you know everything is made to look really future tech so for instance, the MT-22 has that really long beakish front flipper on it. And any time you try to flip, that beak comes and it smacks you on the finger. So no matter which way you're doing it, whether it be thumb studs or reverse flick or what have you, you're always readjusting your hand to try to make sure that you are not in the way of where that beak is going to come all the way down the spine. This one, however... It doesn't matter where you go on it. It is extremely, extremely well designed to open as well as uh, fall shut right on your fingernail. I bet this thing would punch a nice, nice hole right there through the cuticle bed. Woo! Yeah, no thank you. No, thank you. That would hurt. Is that loose too? No, that's not. That's just the the Emerson Wave. I don't normally keep on my uh, on my knocks that have the uh, Emerson Wave that can be raised or closed. I usually keep them significantly tighter so it does not pop open because I like to control when my knife opens, not just when it comes out of my pocket, uh, because. Sometimes I go to pull my knife out of my pocket because I want to show it to someone and I don't want it to deploy and then me go to hand the knife to somebody and the blade be out and be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that really wouldn't happen because I'm not that careless, but it, it would be amusing nonetheless. Not really. Maybe for me, not for the person who just got pig stuck, but <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, um, that's that's really that's about all I've got on this thing. I, I I'm not going to do cut testing on somebody else's knife. I'm I'm not going to take apart somebody else's knife. I just wanted this knife to show this and for all of you out there who love the type of knives that I show that for some crazy reason have not heard of love them knives he is somebody that i highly highly suggest that you check out love l-u-v them knives i will also link his channel below i will put his channel information here and uh go and check him out because he gets all the cool knives and he usually gets all the cool knives before I even get all the cool knives I think he's got a he's got like some kind of crazy teleportation device directly to knock knives because anytime they come out with something new it's like one just appears in his hands and I, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a bit jelly of that but Hey, what can I say? He's been at this game a whole lot longer than I have. And his collection is a lot bigger and his videos are a lot better. <laughs> so, love them knives, man. You, uh, you are one of the people who really kind of introduced me to a lot of the knives that I like. And for that, I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Uh, again, thank you so much for letting me check out this amazing, 
Knock S07 from your personal collection. Uh, this is the extent of the touching and use that will occur with this knife. I'm going to box this right back up and turn and burn it back to you. <clears throat> I might try to uh, clean some of my fingerprints off of here before I do so. But uh, yeah, wow, cool, cool knife. Knock S07. Uh, no way to actually buy this knife right now unless you find somebody willing to sell you one from their personal collection. Uh, I attempted to buy this knife off of him, forgetting that it was completely done up the way he liked. So there is no way that that was happening. So I will continue my search for an S07 to add to my collection, and I will absolutely be checking out Blades We Love to get some personalized anodizing done because this is freaking cool. So he, she's, them, they's. Thank you for knock knifing with me and love them knifing with me. I am the Beard of Doom. I love you all and I will see you on the next one. Doom out. Thank <laughs> you.